So hey everybody, welcome to another Feature Friday. This time we're going to talk about Application Suite user entitlements. A couple of different settings that will affect the application point pool that you have in the system. So let's take a look at some of the ins and outs of how you set things up. Okay, so here we go. We are going to log in as Maz Admin. And once the user interface settles down just a little bit, we will notice in the upper right hand corner we have the administrative gear. Click that. We are going to go directly to the user's tile. And I'm going to go directly over here on the right hand side to create a user. Not going to pay any attention to the identity, but I'm going to go right down here into section 2, Entitlement. Notice that the default is concurrent. And you can also click on the little I here for a little bit more information about what concurrent means, which, as you know, as the user logs in and then logs out, the points are taken out of the pool and then returned to the pool. So the default being concurrent, from an application entitlement standpoint, here are your choices. Go ahead and drop this down. And so if this user is intended to be a self-service user, while you would choose self-service, those users will not draw any app points out of the pool. And you can see all the way down the list, you have 5 and 10 and 15 points that the user will pull out of the pool, depending on the entitlement that they have. If you want to know what those entitlements are, you're able to click this link right here, and you can see what the self-service user has access to, the limited, the base, and then the premium. I'll leave that up there just a moment for you to look at. Notice the premium, which has the highest cost of app points, has access to the most number of components within Application Suite. If you switch the user to authorized, or named is another way of calling it, when you switch it to authorized, their application entitlement also changes. These users Still, self-service will be zero, but the other levels of entitlement will take out fewer app points for an authorized user. However, let's put this back to concurrent. If this user is also an administrator, you're intending them to administrate uh, parts of the application suite, then you need to give them an entitlement. And you can see that there's two levels for them. One is base and one is premium. Obviously, base takes less app points. But the important point here is that the app points for an administrative user are reserved. So they are basically taken out of your pool uh, that the, concurrent, the other concurrent users would have access to. Okay? So once you identify a user as an administrator at some level, those app points for the different levels are reserved or, in essence, pulled out of your, your pool. So you have base or premium. Notice, I'm going to go over here to uh, authorized, make this user authorized now. And if this user is also going to be an administrator, then you um, would choose their entitlement here. But you'll notice that it doesn't change. So whether the user is concurrent or authorized, if they are granted administrative entitlements, they will still pull out the 10 or 15 uh, reserved app points out of your pool. You're able to also click on this link here and see what those entitlements mean and the difference between a base administrative user and a premium administrative user. So that is how this is done. Uh, most Typical configurations would be focused on concurrent, and most users would, would probably just have an entitlement of some kind to applications and probably not also administrators. Um, however, you may have a small group of users who are just administrators and then even a smaller group of users that may be both. So lastly, let me show you a bit of a nuance here. So if I start out with a concurrent user that has um, an application entitlement of, of limited, so five app points, 
If I come along and also give them administrative entitlement, I'll just choose base, watch what happens. It switches them from concurrent to authorized, and it also drops the number of uh, app points for that level of access, but it also reserves those app points as well. So keep an eye out for that when you have your users who are both application entitled and administrative entitled. If I go ahead and take the application, or I'm sorry, the administration off, take that entitlement away, okay, it leaves them here at authorized, which you may want to switch them back to concurrent if they are just accessing applications. So that's interesting. So not too bad, but you can see that as you add administrator level users to the application suite system, they reserve app points out of your pool. So you need to uh, learn how to account for them as you uh, perhaps have more than just a few administrative users. Hope that was helpful. If not, uh, leave some comments. Uh, certainly like and subscribe. We like that. And uh, we'll see you next Friday.